bad habits that make you feel tired, as well as life tricks to get your gait up and running again. Lack of sleep isn't the only thing sucking away your vitality. Various little things you do, or don't do, can wear you down, both mentally and physically. Experts have identified the most common bad habits that make you feel tired and described simple life tricks to help you get your gait up and running again. 1. You skip a workout when you feel tired. Many people mistakenly think they can save energy if they skip a workout. But in fact, exercising, on the contrary, can add to your energy. According to a study conducted by the University of Georgia, people who lead a sedentary lifestyle begin to feel more energetic as early as six weeks after they start exercising. Three 20-minute workouts a week was enough for them. Exercise increases strength and endurance, stimulates the heart, and helps the body enrich itself more effectively with oxygen and nutrients. So the next time you don't have the strength to go to the gym, force yourself to at least go for a walk, you won't regret it. 2. You do not drink enough fluids. According to Texas nutritionist Amy Goodson, even a slight dehydration of 2% of normal fluid volume results in a significant drop in energy. Lack of fluid in the body reduces blood volume and makes the blood thicker. The heart requires more effort to pump blood, so it begins to work less intensely, resulting in slower circulation of oxygen in the body. 3. You don't get enough iron. Iron deficiency can make you slow, irritable, weak and unable to concentrate. You get tired quickly, when your muscles and cells get less oxygen, Goodson says. To avoid this, and to lower your risk of developing anemia, include foods containing iron in your diet, including tofu, beans, green leafy vegetables, nuts and peanut butter. Please note, if you experience symptoms of iron deficiency, you should see your doctor, as it may be due to another medical condition. 4. You are a perfectionist. The constant pursuit of perfection, which, you'll agree, is impossible, makes you work longer and harder than necessary, says Irene Levine, professor of psychiatry at New York University School of Medicine. You set unrealistic goals that are very difficult or impossible to achieve, so you don't get satisfaction from your work. Levine recommends limiting the time you work on projects and strictly following a set schedule. After a while, you will see that the extra time you spent on your work did not affect its quality. 5. You are making a big deal out of the fly. If every time your boss calls you in for an unscheduled meeting, you expect to be fired, then you tend to dramatize everything and constantly expect the worst. According to Irene Levine, anxiety literally paralyzes you and drains you psychologically. So the next time you catch yourself having negative thoughts, take a deep breath, then ask yourself how likely it is that the worst of your assumptions will come true. A walk in the fresh air, meditation, exercise, and friendly advice can help you deal with your worries and learn to look at things more realistically. 6. You don't eat breakfast. Food is fuel for our bodies. When we sleep, our body continues to use up the energy obtained during the day to maintain blood circulation and oxygen. That's why you need to refuel in the morning. If you skip breakfast, you will feel exhausted. As Amy Goodson says, eating breakfast is the spark that ignites your metabolism. For breakfast, Goodson recommends eating whole grains, clean proteins and healthy fats. This could be a fruit smoothie with skim milk, oatmeal with peanut butter, or whole grain bread and yogurt. 7. Do you eat fast food and other junk food? Foods high in sugars and simple carbohydrates have a high glycemic index, meaning they contribute to spikes in blood sugar levels. Frequent sugar spikes cause fatigue, Goodson says. Try to control your sugar levels by regularly consuming whole grain and plant-based foods. 8. You don't know how to say no. Trying to please everyone often wastes energy. Worse, over time, it can make you feel resentful and bitter. Remember, when your child's coach asks you to bake cookies for the whole team, or when your boss asks you to work on Sunday, you don't have to say yes. Learn to say no. Clinical psychologist Susan Albers recommends practicing the psychological trick as practice, try saying no out loud when you're alone in your car. If you hear yourself say the word, you will find it much easier to say it when the need arises. 9. Your office is a mess. A cluttered desk drains you psychologically, slows your brain's ability to process information, and keeps you from focusing on your work, Princeton University researchers concluded. At the end of the day, 
Put things back where you found them. This will help you start the next day with a positive attitude. 10. You're working while on vacation. Checking your inbox instead of relaxing by the pool can rob you of your last energy and lead to total exhaustion. Try to forget about work and allow yourself to rest for the duration of your vacation. This will help your brain and body recover, resulting in you being able to return to your duties with renewed vigor. A good vacation will make you more creative, productive and efficient. 11. You have a glass of wine before you go to bed. Some people are in the habit of skipping a couple of glasses of wine before going to bed, convinced that it helps them relax. In fact, this habit often has the opposite effect. According to Alan Tufi, MD, alcohol initially suppresses the central nervous system and does have a calming effect. But eventually it disrupts sleep. As it is absorbed, alcohol leads to a spike in adrenaline. Therefore, there is a good chance that you may wake up unexpectedly in the middle of the night after drinking alcohol. To avoid sleep problems, Dr. Tufi recommends abstaining from alcoholic beverages at least three to four hours before bedtime. 12. You check your mail before you go to bed. Flickering light from a smartphone, tablet or laptop screen disrupts your body's natural circadian rhythm by suppressing levels of the hormone melatonin, which is responsible for cycling periods of sleep and wakefulness, says Dr. Tufay. And while everyone's susceptibility to screen glow is individual, the doctor recommends not using digital devices at least an hour or two before bedtime. If you can't go to bed without checking for incoming messages, then at least keep the device's screen 35 centimeters away from your eyes. 13. You only rely on caffeine during the day. There's nothing wrong with starting the day with a cup of invigorating coffee. What's more, according to research, you can even drink three cups of coffee a day without harming your health. However, abusing caffeine can seriously disrupt your sleep, says Alan Tufi. Caffeine blocks adenosine, a byproduct of active cells that helps us fall asleep. A study published in the Journal of Clinical Sleep Medicine confirmed that drinking caffeine even six hours before bedtime can affect sleep. Therefore, it is best to have your last cup of coffee no later than the afternoon. 14. You take long naps on the weekends. If you stay up late on Saturday and then sleep half a day on Sunday, you will have a hard time falling asleep on Sunday night. That, in turn, will cause you to feel wrecked on Monday, says Dr. Tufay. If for some reason you can't go to bed at your usual time on Saturday, at least force yourself to wake up early on Sunday and then just take a nap in the afternoon. A 20-minute afternoon nap will help you gain energy without going into a deep sleep phase, after which it's usually harder to wake up, says Dr. Tufay.